Hello everybody, uh, today I'm doing my first ever card unboxing and I'm going to be doing a Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising box it is uh, unfortunately unlimited, it's not that first edition goodness but I do need some cards, I don't really have too many Flesh and Blood cards it is something I just got into and uh, I want to start playing, and I need cards to start playing, so we're going to try and open this up here. Now, I did go to a pre-release for Monarch uh, over the weekend. Um, I got some packs, first edition cards, got those promo cards, which were super cool. Um, I did not do too well in the tournament, um, I didn't win a single game, uh, but I learned to play, which I guess is probably the most important part. Um, I could tell you the community for this game is growing very quickly, um, it's definitely have giving Magic some competition, although I'm not that big into Magic. Uh, I did start playing that sort of recently too, just earlier this year. I've never actually opened a box of cards. This is my first time ever. So you get one, two, three, four, these are cool. Five, six, whoa, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 packs. I know it says it on the box. I was just counting because, uh, you know, I didn't get this from a shop. I actually had to get this off eBay. And who knows what you're getting off eBay when you get things off eBay. Um, okay. Let's start with, uh, I believe this character is Dash. Sorry, if I don't know all the characters yet. And bear with me for opening packs carefully. Um, I do like to save the sleeves sometimes. I mean, it is my first pack, so it's kind of cool to see them. Cool. Alright, let's see what we got here. And my camera rig setup, I have to tell you, is not super good. I have to review this footage later and see how close I can even get. Oh, and this map, by the way, was from pre-release. Uh, highly coveted playmat, I, 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 from what I've seen. Let's see, we have come to fight. Commons, everything. Uh, rarities denoted by the bottom corner there. Wow, this camera does not give me a lot of focal length to work with. Back alley break line. Need to charge. Uh, I'm not, you know, like I said before, ooh, here's my rare. Take cover. Another rare. Plunder run. And we got a foil common. And some more commons. With a loop, searing shot, reverb plate, reverberate, reverb. Oh my gosh, sorry. Index, reverberance. Oh, and a token, right? Oh, this is what he looks like young. I've only seen him as an adult. That's cool. This is before he gets transformed, I guess. Um that off to the side. 
So yeah, uh, I just got into this. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I can't give like uh, super in-depth knowledge on the cards and classes and things like that. Uh, what I did play at the event, or who I did play was um, Bolton. No, Bolton. That was the token I had pulled. And I got destroyed by pretty much everyone who was playing um, Kane? Clean? Clean? Forget his name. He is the uh, dark wizard looking character. That guy, I believe it was. <laughs> Sorry. If I'm getting all these names wrong. Um, so let's go through these some more. Fate for scene. Oh wow, that's cool. This would be a cool foil, right? Headshot. Index. Amplify. Some of these arts are actually pretty cool. I do like some of them. I'm trying to find like a character I really like and then just play that character. That'd be really cool. The coolest character I've seen so far is um, in Kasai. It's a girl. Uh, I think a warrior. So I'm kind of on the out look at, at the, on the lookout for some warrior cards. Spell bound assault is my rare, and so is life for a life. If life for a life hits, gain plus one health. When you play life for a life, if you have less health than a opposing hero, it gains go again. That seems pretty okay for a rare. Common, common, common. Locked and loaded. I've seen this card a lot. Locked and loaded. Let me just clean up my play area here a little bit. Um, so like I said, I do need some cards. I do need to learn how to play more. I did sign up for like a online, uh, like weekly um, armory uh, blitz league. Uh, so I'm gonna be playing that every week, and I imagine I'll learn pretty quick from that. It'll let me get into these cards. A little bit more, get a better understanding of what's going on, what's good. What is, oh, here's a rune chant token. Everyone talks about these rune chant tokens. <laughs> I know I sound ridiculous. Um, oh, Whisper of Oracle, I've seen this card a lot too. I don't know who is in this set. Um, but I'm definitely looking for some character cards, just that way I have some variety to play with, because when I was playing Bolton, I felt completely lost. Uh, here got another rare of Spellblade Assault. I really, this is a cool looking card, actually. Some of these look really cool. There's one card I actually went out of my way to purchase, um, Steel Blade Chump. I thought that was a really cool looking card, and I was like, wow, I want that for in first edition. Um, I actually got a promo version of this at my event. Uh, foil version, I can show that later. And a foil comment of Vigor, Vigor Rush. It's sometimes so confusing with, you know, what can be a foil, what can't be a foil. What's a cold foil? I was having such confusion when getting into this, trying to figure out what was what. So first editions are definitely where the value seems to be if you want a first edition anything. You're paying pretty high price. I'm still not super savvy on all the rarities yet. Uh, to my understanding, it's common, rare, mythical, Legendary Fable? 
I think I saw there's a super rare somewhere in there. I could be wrong. It must have been maybe something I misread. Uh, I've never seen a super rare, so I'm probably, I believe that's wrong. So mythical and uh, legends are the good stuff. I believe there's only like one fable, one or two fables in each set. Which I think that's, that's actually kind of cool. To have like a card that's like so rare that you almost never see or never get. And then if you do get it, it's like amazing. Oh, there's a token cracked bauble. Hmm. Lead the charge. See. Seen. Like I said, this is the first time I'm filming something like this. I've never done anything like this before. My setup is probably janky. I do have a different lens. I do have a 50 millimeter. I think I might film on that because that gives a little bit more zoom. Right now I'm filming on a 24 millimeter, so everything is kind of wide. But it's my sharpest lens, so I kind of thought it would make things a little bit more crisp. So far we're just getting some rares. Oh, we got a foil spell down assault, spell blade assault. That's nice. And I just said I do like the image on my card, so this is awesome. Normally I do sleeve immediately, but let's put those over there. I mean they're not going anywhere. It's not like I have wind or dust blowing around in my room. Zero to sixty. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go through all these and sort them and figure out what goes with what. Because at the bottom here, you see this is a rune blade action attack card, whereas this is a wizard action. So certain characters can only use certain cards. Wizards obviously can only use wizard cards, and then there's generic cards which anybody can use. You kind of pad your deck with generic cards. And, you know, you put your specialty cards in there to go with your character and take advantage of those specialty moves. Um, I do have to say, like, when I was playing uh, Monarch, there was uh, that character, I can't remember his name, <laughs> this guy. Uh, he was coming in for like 7 damage every turn. Uh, with some pretty broken... I swear there was some guy there and it was like, wow, you actually got all of these cards randomly from 6 packs. His deck seemed to like work so well. The way he was just banishing everything and then not paying any blood debt. And just always had cards to attack with and always had cards to defend with and meanwhile I was being Bolton, and I'm like, uh, if I charge my soul, I have nothing to play with. I mean, I have nothing to defend with. And then I kind of watch some other people play, and I'm like, oh, that's how you use Bolton a little bit. It's a cool card. I guess this is, uh, yep. How do you say that? Mech, mechanologist equipment, sorry. Never said that word out loud, mechanologist. Here is a rare wizard action. And I got another plunder run. Oh boy. Whoa. Zero to 60. Now that's cool. Now, I'm having a hard time with magic because, uh, you know, I just got into it over this past year. There's just so many cards out. Like, there's so many sets. So much to do. So many combos. And it's like, unless you've been playing for, like, years, you're kind of lost. It's a little bit hard to get into. Hey, I got a dash token. So now I can play a young dash in Blitz and other events. So right now, like I already said, I only have Bolton. And, uh... And, uh, someone else. Oh, you know what? Here, I got 
No, I guess that's in a different stack. All right, that'll have to be shown some other time. I don't have it here. I was gonna try and show the Kasai, Kas, Kasa, Kasai card I got. This is a promo called Foil, so that's super cool looking. I like the character, so I was like, oh, let me get that one. They were giving out a, or they were, you know, you want to raffle one, you could pick your cold foil hero. And I wanted that one. Although I heard good things about Dash. Uh, although there is no support for Dash in Monarch, it seems, or so I was told from people who have been playing longer than me and understand the game far better than me. Uh, okay. Save that over here. Uh, Forced Sight. I guess I should kind of be looking through uh, the monitor here. I bet you the first half of this video is probably blurry and you've probably fast forward to this point and you're like, oh thank god he's finally putting the cards in focus. Cognitive no cognition nose. Filling in blanks in my head. Another reduced rune chant. Oh jeez, man, this guy is in such agony. And my foil is this guy. Again, man, rifting. So many riftings. Alright, another zero to sky zero to sixty. Why do I keep seeing zero to sky? It's kind of far away from me. I have this camera kind of high up, like I said, it's a 24 millimeters, so I have it kind of high up to kind of show my playing field a little bit. Hamstring shot. That's not. That's not a hamstring. That that looks like a calf. Yeah, man, your hamstring is on the back of your leg, uh, above your calf. So. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Death Dealer token. So I just rune chant. This is a weapon for ranger weapon, of course. Two-handed bow. Oh yes. Characters can use two-handed weapons. I forgot. Yeah, in uh, Monarch, I only got one axe, and then someone was kind enough to lend me the other axe. So I was able to hold two axes in my games. They did not help me very much. Um... Yeah, maybe a little bit. I'm gonna beat somebody, but I lost because of time over, which kind of sucks considering how he only had six life and I had five life. If you had just given me one more turn, I could have uh, done more damage. Uh, I also played my cards in an incorrect order. And that's probably will cause me to lose that match, unfortunately. Hey, we got another hero tokens, another character I can play as. That is fun. Azalea. Looks like uh, someone from the Fire Nation. A little bit of a, should I say, parody. To, uh, I don't want to say copyright. Just, um... Similar character design. Here we go with that index again. Let's go a little bit faster through these. Let's get something cool, man. I'm filling up this common stack pretty high, man. Pedal to the metal. Pour the mold. Nice. We got a foil plunder run. My dreams have come true. That's actually not bad. It's kind of cool. Put that over here. And then the rest hyperdrive, searing shot. Seeing all these good guys. Nice, interesting, fun, cool. I don't know what any of them do, but we'll find out tomorrow because I have to build a deck tomorrow. So I can actually participate participate in what I signed up for. If worse comes to worse, I can use this. 
the only adult hero I have, I think. The other side is a young Livia, Livia, young Livia, old Livia, or should I say adult Livia? I also want to read up on the lore of this game. Apparently it's got some lore. These characters have stories. I don't know anything about their stories. What is their motivation for this? Alright, we already went through that. We said we were going to speed things up. Miss hmm. Rabo. Push the point. Rifting. Oh my gosh, I got so many riftings right now, man. Look, I know there's a special trick where you pull the rares last. We're not doing that. Oh, cool. What do we have here? This is a S. Oh, maybe there are super rare cards. Is that what S stands for? A foil induction chamber. S. I've never seen an S card, so I'm assuming that is a super rare. I have only ever seen rares and legendaries, and a screenshot of a fable card. <laughs> Let's see what else. Comments, comments. There's that incorrect hamstring shot. Let me see this. Yeah, okay, that's that's 100% not his hamstring. 100,000% not his hamstring. We're gonna go through these. Got a couple packs left here. Well, more than a couple. There's a stack to my right, a stack to my left. I'm hoping the more OCD viewers will at least appreciate the way I'm opening these packs. And if you don't, you're just like, man, it's just open, dude. This is a stupid piece of plastic. Uh, I've been finding that times two speed on YouTube has been a lifesaver recently, especially for watching some videos. It's a token. And one comment, let's see, sun kiss, cool. Wait, did I really get two back to back sun kisses? And they're both red sun kisses? Okay. That's uh Someone, uh, that randomizer. I wonder what are the odds of that. Either spindle, and we got a. Uh, myth. Mythic. I want to say mythical. Uh, anyway, it's a uh, take. Take. Well, I can't read. Uh, take low core. Um, dash specialization, Teclo Core enters the arena with two steam counters on it. When Teclo Counter has no steam counters on it, destroy it. At the beginning of your action phase, remove a steam counter from Teclo Core to gain two, uh, what do you say, energy? Because I know you pitch for energy, is that correct? I'm using correct terminology here. Um, trying to think it too much. You know, we need players in this game, right? That's what makes the game progress, makes the game get good. I don't want to see too much salt in the comments. If I do decide to post this, I want to mean, don't be mean. Oh my gosh. Maybe you can't open any but every pack the way I want it to be open. Or can you? Some packs they don't even let you open them like this. I remember Pokemon I used to be able to open them like this. Yu-Gi-Oh! Worked pretty well. Magic? I've never been able to open a magic pack like this. Well that's not true. I have been able to open a few, but it's like really difficult. It tears very easily. It's like they don't even use like a thinner 
mylar, I believe. Packs are made out of mylar. Mylar is waterproof. Also archival. It's a good way to store things. Uh, so we're going to read it faster. Ooh. The flame. Hey, the volcano. Wait, is this a character? Yes, character token. Cool. I'm getting characters now. Yeah, I only pulled one token at that Monarch event, and that was... What's the name? Bolton. Absorb Aether. Nice. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't bring the cards up, because if I do, this camera's got a very low zoom um, range. Or a far zoom range, I should say. Wow, that zooms right in the face of my end, I don't know. You can't see that, but it sees that person's face as a human. Another headshot, nice. Another index. Indexes all day. What, what a... I guess it was Welcome to Wraith, is where Steel Blade shot it in. Yeah, like I said, I really like the... The imagery on that card, I thought his armor looked cool. But I tried to track down a foil first edition version of that card. I managed to find that okay condition one. We'll see how it comes when it arrives in the mail. Is it a good card? I think it's rare. Still late shunt. Um, it's so funny, like the unlimited version is selling for like 12 cents, but the first edition was selling, I don't even remember, for like $14, and then the foil first edition was like $33? Something like that. I can't remember how much I paid, I think I paid 33 Uh, Enchanting Melody. Whoa, that has a lot of text. I'm gonna start putting rares over here. And this is another S card super rare, I'm assuming. Become the Ark Knight. That's cool. And we got a finally a cool rare foil of Aether Spindle. Hopefully these people, I mean the game is, says on the box, designed by gamers, for gamers. I hope, uh, you know, they uh, made some quality cardboard here, because magic cards tend to pringle, as some say. I haven't really noticed it in mine, but I guess I haven't been collecting that long. But, I mean... You know, if Magic is selling like, these really expensive collector's packs and people are willing to spend money on those really expensive collector's packs, they should have, like, a premium cardboard edition <laughs> collector's pack where they use premium cardboard in their cards. I'm sure that would change card games forever as we know it. They started printing them on higher quality, maybe archival acid-free cardboard or something like that. I'm not sure of the chemical makeup of trading cards, they seem to last quite a while. Hmm, where are my comments going? Comments are going over here now. Sir of the Aether Winds, Silver the Tip. Oh, cool, Whisper of the Oracle Foil. I like the foiling on that. Super nice. And then you got your steering shot over loop, another headshot, zipper hit. So, I thought these were all supposed to be, um... Okay, my camera stopped recording. I'm back with that sun kiss. 
And we're just going to carry on for where we left off. Pedal to the metal again. This foil. Wow, how are you going to give me again with the same two consecutive cards? Uh, one foil, not foil. Headshot again, all this, all this, all this. I think I accidentally put a rare in a different pile. I'm going to go back for that. Yep, silver the tip. Oops. Then these are common, all going back. Oh, I do have to say that making a deck in 30 minutes for a card game, you're not totally savvy on how to play, was pretty uh, stressful. Especially when you're playing with first edition cards. <laughs> and you like immediately want to sleeve them all. So what I did was I immediately sleeved the rares and then just started going through the cards and then I, I had enough time to sleeve everything else before the match just started. But it was a long, long tournament. I said earlier, I did not win a single game. Unfortunately, here we go with that enchant. Now I can understand why some of these cards are high value and some are not. Because when you pull three reduced the rune chants in a row, and of course I'm not in focus the whole time I was talking about that. And headshot. Again with the headshots. Wow. Same card in the pack. Well, I guess the cool thing is about I haven't been looking, but you know, you get your pitch cost changes and your defense and or attack value changes depending on the color of the card. Blue is three pitch, but you'll usually have a weaker attack and or a weaker defense. Whereas a red, you'll have a little bit higher attack, but you'll get less when you pitch it. So it's all about mixing and matching. We're trying to figure out what version of the card best suits you, which I haven't even begun to wrap my head around with. You know, do you play a mix of blues and yellows? Or blues and reds? Or do you just play all yellows? It's hard. And it's kind of annoying when you pitch something for three and the only thing you have to play cost one. It's like you feel bad for wasting all that two extra energy. But that might have just been a noob mistake. A new player mistake. Here we go again with that enchanting melody. And another plunder run. I got plunder runs for days over here. And that hamstring shot will haunt me. We got our token. And other common. Come on, I want to see, uh, I haven't pulled a legendary yet. Nope. I want to see a legendary. Legendary in person. I did pull a. No, I didn't pull a legendary. I'm going to say I pulled a legendary at the event, but I didn't. I just pulled a. a mythical. Is it called mythical? Mystical. I think it's mystical. So he's the same mythic and magic. These are just my commons, commons, commons. We've seen them all. Victor. Bigger rush. Got another Azalea. Check out that. 
rare book. Please cards up. Arena's Prayer. No rune, huh? I've seen cold foils of this. Actually looks pretty cool as a cold foil and another reduced to rune chant. It's gonna be my new favorite card. Reduced to rune chant. Throttle. Foil throttle. Fun stuff, super hit. There's the right shot, one another throttle. In the same pack with the throttles. Now I'm seeing this all day. I didn't see this at all. And then once I saw it once, now I'm just seeing it all the time now. Hmm. Interesting. Look, I understand you can't have new cards every single time, but I don't know, it reminds me back in the day, Yu-Gi-Oh. What cards did I always pull in Yu-Gi-Oh? Giant rat with my rare. I have so many giant rats. I hated that card. It's so disappointing in Yu-Gi-Oh when you're a little kid spending your money on a pack and your brother pulls an ultra rare and you pull your fifth giant rat. Oh no. Why? Yeah, I've never had good luck at pulling cards. Never. Especially when I would open them with someone else. I would always get a rare. And they would get like an ultra rare or super rare. And I would just feel terrible. I mean, sometimes I pulled some good stuff. And we have a legendary. No, no. Keep thinking. I'm like, ooh, something different. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a super rare. So we got a rusted relic that looks interesting. Generic action item. We have an amplify the arc knight foil. That's super cool. How many times have I said super cool? Dang! And all of these headshots. At least give me a foil headshot. That Kano. Got another Kano. He's from the Fire Nation, too. I think I've seen a dull Kano. He looks like he's really from the Fire Nation. You know what I want to see in this game? I want to see, uh, like, monsters. Like, Frankenstein-type monsters. I don't know why. I think that would be cool. You know, we're, we've all seen demons, we've all seen dragons. We've all seen goblins and hobgoblins and... All that stuff. I don't know, I want to see some old school universal monsters. Just got our dash token. Crucible. Ethan Leaf. I'm gonna go through here, bang. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Just the way I'm positioned. Come down closer to the cards. Cognition nodes again. And pour the mold again. And a foil. Arena's prayer. That's nice. I actually like that. That goes well foiled. And uh, every time I see that hamstring shot. See now I saw a throttle once and I feel like now it's just like all these packs have a throttle in them. And that one card I said earlier that I kept seeing is now gone. Packs are interesting. I feel like they have, you know, one common set of cards in them. Within a box, I mean. And like then there's like four packs within that box that have like very similar cards. I guess it's maybe a drafting thing. I don't really know. There is our Azalea. Oh boy! Fell down straight. 
strike. Lead the charge. Eight for scene. Here we go with that plunder run again. And absorb an eth aether. Our foil is a zap. Deal one arcane damage. For zero? Uh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem that great. Not that great of a rare. I only say that because it takes an action point, right? Unless you're comboing that with something. You gotta get that go again, you know? It's all about that go again. Out the middle, and take out the top and bottom. Got dash, dash tokens for days now. Think of rush, room flash, push the. Now I'm seeing push the point again. I haven't seen that in ages. Reduce the rune chant. I haven't seen it in three packs. <laughs> I'm not hating, I'm just saying. There it is, it's back. Blood spill, invocation, and zap. The first time I saw zap, and now I'm getting zaps again. So let's see if the next ones have blood spell, invocation, and zaps. And or a headshot. Because we got a headshot in that one, right? Am I expecting anything? Am I expecting a legendary at least? At this rate, who knows? Come to fight, yes. I can get reduced to rune chant again. Oh, we got a new one. Good. Aether Sink and a Chanting Mountain Eat once again. Take aim. Now that's a new one. Take aim foil. Rare. Fun. Let's see. Oh, Ranger action. Next Ranger attack action. Card you play this turn gains plus one attack. Reload. If you have no cards in your arsenal, you may put a card from your hand face down into your arsenal. Go again. Ooh, gotta go again. Let's go again. Cards are what you want in your life, and considering how it's a zero cost card, that's good stuff. Boost your attack plus one. Put a card in your arsenal. And then go again. I don't know why you would want. Oh, a ranger must have a perk that says, uh, you know, if you reload, you probably get something. I was gonna say, why would you want to put a card in your arsenal, like in the middle of your turn? But that would probably be why. It's probably like Boltwin charging his soul, where you take a card from your hand and put it under the character card to quote unquote charge his soul. He gets perks from. Person that either wall charging or have or automatically having in the soul. Man, I'm getting. I mean, I, yeah, there's supposed to be a token in every pack. I feel like I did not get a token in every pack in my monarch, but maybe I'll go through that again and see. Bullseye bracers, oh, that's new. <sighs> Who would have thought another plunder run? Take cover, and bam! Invocation is back in the game. Was that two blood spells? Man, collecting all the cards for this game is ridiculous because you would have to get 
three different ver what six different versions of this card you would get the one of each color non foil and then one of each color foil and then if you're going to the first editions <laughs> you have to do it over again twelve of the same card that's if I guess you wanted them all or, or if you really liked something does every card come in every pitch value? That's so many cards. So many variations. And then there's our cold foil version on top of that too. I feel like this, uh... Never mind, I'm not gonna say anything, but... This is the second to last pack. Let me please get something cool. I want to get something outrageous. I want to get something ridiculous. My first, first box. No, I'm not going to get anything because I dropped that card. Pedal to the metal. Spark of genius. Super rare. And yeah, foil is yes. Hey, I wanted that. Hey, I'm kind of happy with that. Blue foil headshot. It's not that good in my opinion. I kind of don't like having blues, but his eye glows. I'm happy with that. And another headshot right behind it. What is with these packs? I feel like they shouldn't do that. That's a yellow headshot too. Through to 60. Okay. <clears throat> Last pack. Are we gonna get something to make me run away? From the camera. up the cards I was going to say let's do that thing where you take out the first six and now we're going to do it like this major master boots that's cool new cards okay new equipment we use equipment right that's fun right <sighs> okay pour them out all right let's go from the back now Gonna try and pronounce it, but decided not to read the runes. Scalding rain, head shot. Is that a sign? Is that foreshadowing? Over loop. Okay, so this is our other rare and our other foil. Um, let's go other rare first. Okay, can't win them all, but. No, you can't win them all. Any with a zap foil. Which is not bad. It's a cool looking card. Not gonna lie. No legendaries. No fables, unfortunately. Did pull some super rares. Pull some foil rares, which are interesting. Um. I'm gonna do this again. I do have to find a new camera setup because that position I was in was bad. I do have this. I will try and open this later. I'll try and film that. I do want to get some those Japanese uh, Japanese foils. That was the end of the box, and that's what I got. Uh, yeah. So I guess next video I'll do is uh, the Strict Safe and Collector's Booster. I'll probably be going uh, back and forth between them. And uh, anyway, thanks. Thanks for watching.